are also going to get um, a pair of Newton shoes. Yay! Woo! So I, I didn't know I was going to get an award, but I thought, just in case. Just in case. I'm going to hand this off to Melissa. Just in case. Oh, that's that's going. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for the past 15 years, Nicole has worked really hard to um, create, drive, and deliver the amazing product and community that we all love. Skirtboards. Yeah. That started the famous red skirt that she talked about. I don't know if you guys know, but she originally developed five different styles: the transition girl, the marathon girl, the gym girl, and the ultra wouldn't be added until 2008 the school girl and the party girl, which came in pink and yellow plaid with pleats on the front. The print is called Lemonade, and it is in the store if you guys want to see it. Right? I did my homework. Um, so she set up shop in Boulder, made a website, started traveling the country to do different race expos, letting women all over the country see, try, and feel skirt sports. That didn't happen alone, though. She had help from her husband, Tim, family members and friends, like Judy Smooch, who was president of the Tim DeBoom fan club. <laughs> she has a skirt pattern named after her, and she had a motto. Good girls wear tricks, not turn them. <laughs> so nice. Um, she also, did you know that skirt sports used to sell earrings and necklaces? She had her mom, Gail, create sexy, sparkly, and sporty earrings that won't fall out when you swim, bike, or run around town. <laughs> right? There was some good content out there. Um, in 2006, the line was expanded to include dresses, tri gear, and even a line for little girls, and that's when the men's line skirt chaser came out. She talked a little bit about the event that she put on. It was called this um, Skirt Chaser 5K, and it went on for about five years. It was always held on a Friday night. Um, it was when like event 5Ks were a thing. Um, they offered a 5K party. The women would start, and then three minutes later, the men would get to start and chase them. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Skirt Sports has always had and continues to have a focus on strong women relationships, supporting those organizations. Most of us know that Skirt Sports partnered with Catherine Switzer, the 261 Fearless Organization. Yeah. But did you know that Skirt Sports partnered with the American Heart Association and their Go It for Women campaign? that the Kendall line of clothing was to support a woman named Jackie McPhee and her sister Kendall, who was battling leukemia. A portion of that proceeds went to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Nicole also helped out with Hurricane Katrina relief and uh, flooding in Iowa relief. Wow. You did. <laughs> it's there. It's there. <laughs> um, she now continues her philanthropic um, endeavors with Running Start. For the past 15 years, Nicole has worked hard to balance business and home life. She added a daughter, Wilder, to the mix seven years ago and continues to make her passion to be one of women, by women, and for women, always being inclusive and uplifting. Um, you got this, girl. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> And so I put it out there to the universe, and the worst people can say is no, and no one said no. So I said, send me your old skirts, tanks, tees, capris, dresses, and more. And my friend Heather, who's a professional quilter, and I will put them together. We'll, we'll arrange them, cut them apart, and make them something beautiful. <laughs> So this is 
is um, this is um, inspired by your triathlon. So it's got your red skirt and a tri top and Sorry, perseverance for the what? legs. <laughs> skirt chaser. Yeah, somebody sent that in. And then, isn't the saying, go big or go home? Yeah. So we made a second quilt. So this one is, um, to Brian Starts so that you can continue your mission to provide women with barriers of fitness, uh, the confidence, courage, and community to support them and change their lives. So this one is to be raffled off or something. You're going to have to... Live auction. You're gonna, Live you auction. Talk to Kara. I love it. Somebody about it. But anyway, there you go. How many of you knew about this? Everyone in the room? Mom, did you know? Come on. Seriously, you've been scheming and finding stuff about Judy Smooch. The Tinder Boom fan club. I didn't know about that. Um, honestly, I am like completely blown away. I don't even remember. Where's that first quote? I don't even remember some it's of those stuff. Like that is and you parted with them? Your, I know. your magical skirt sports so that you could give me back what I've given you. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Melissa, thank you. This is beautiful. I don't want to wash it off. We keep it for a little while. Just a little bit. Wow. Um, can we break for a second? <laughs> okay, you guys, wait. Let me just stop one second. It did hit me when Melissa was talking that she said her cup was full last year and she went home and I thought about who she was when I met her last year. I didn't even know her and then she came and she was just in every single person's photo. <laughs> and it was like, this person is she's like a heart and soul of what we're doing right now. And I had no idea that you needed to fill that cup and that you had been open, right? Yeah. So you guys, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> I just need a little time to take it in. So I'm gonna pass the mic to Sarah for a second and we're gonna resume the program. Thank you guys. <laughs> 